launching legacies welcome to our daily devotional today we're going to talk about believe it or not um there comes a time in everyone's faith journey in which we have to un, um, make a position or have a stance and so we need to either believe or not and um when it comes to practicing our faith we really need to think okay so if either god is who he says he is he does what he says he um he does he will be who he says he will be and he is honest his character is good or not and it's just that simple every person on a faith journey will need to either believe it or not there's a places though even though we would like it to always be in a place in which we're full heartedly believing it and demonstrating that we believe that's not necessarily the case so what may happen is we get to these places of vacillation kind of like the place i was talking about yesterday where we say where am i have i missed my time in life have i missed the stage i'm supposed to be in have i missed what i'm supposed to be doing did i not hear from god am i am i in the wrong place did i marry the wrong person did are these kids somebody else's and i don't know about it um there's all these different questions but when we look at it big picture we either, it comes down to either we believe God or we don't. Because if we believe him, then he, and he is who he says he is, he'll do what he says he'll do. Then we have to wholeheartedly move in that direction because that's how faith works. And when Paul is writing about this, he has to write with some emphatic positions in the New Testament. And it's important for us to recognize that that same emphasis, that same place in which he's concretely standing there and looking oh, and going through what he's going through, that part is something that we have to recognize we wrestle with all the time. Paul was living in a time and day in which things were a lot, a lot different, right? They were a lot simpler and there was a lot less pressure from the outside to do certain things for to a certain extent right because his life was simpler there wasn't as many social um social mores and norms he had to though um still come against the sadducees the pharisees all of the religious leaders all of his past upbringing and he had to learn to stand so even though the time was simpler some of his obstacles were the same he had to decide if he was going to believe or not believe and once he was on the road to damascus right when he got turned from saul to paul then he had to to say okay well you know what now i'm i'm paul and i either i believe this or i don't believe it either i'm gonna follow jesus or i'm not gonna follow jesus because at this point i've already dedicated my whole life to doing what it is that i was at first saying i would never do <laughs> i would never do so he comes to these points in which he has this big like gusto of understanding and he's sharing it in the epistles in the new testament right he's sharing it in the letters that he's writing and one of the ones i want to share with you today is romans 8 38 through 39 and where paul is making an assertion and he says look it i am convinced um and i'm reading in the new international version he says i am convinced that neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so he's talking to this body in Romans or writing to this body in Romans. But what he's doing is saying, listen, I believe it. It's There's not a not to it. I'm convinced. I am, I am persuaded. It depends on the translation. He says, look, this is where i'm standing and so i'm going to encourage you to have the same stance no matter what's going on in your life no matter the circumstances if it's trouble if it's peace if it's rest if it's transition if you are have been in the same place and you were hoping for a transition no matter where you are you're going to have to either believe it or not either he is or he isn't if he is let's be all in let's go ahead and do it be convinced like paul says i'm convinced that nothing's going to separate me from the love of god that's in christ jesus and because he loves me he'll care for me like a person who loves me right he'll provide for me like a person who loves me he'll guide me like a person who loves me and when i face disappointments he'll be there to encourage me and uplift me like a person who loves me no matter what happens if his love can't be separated from me then i'm going to be okay because who i believe in is more powerful than the circumstances 
circumstances in my life, right? That love is what's transformative. That love is what's propelling me. So as we're parenting our kids, do you believe or not? I mean, parent them like you believe that God is who he says he is and he'll do what he says he'll do. If you're married, are you married acting like you believe it? I mean, love and be married and be a husband or be a wife like God is who he says he is and he'll do what he says he'll do. Follow through like God is who you're relying on and who you're trusting on and that the security of God's love towards you is as firm as the ground under your feet. That's what we need to do. We need to be able to stand and say, you know what? I'm convinced. I'm convinced that I'm loved. I'm, the circumstances don't feel like it. My family's acting like this or my job situation is like that or my money situation is like that or I felt like going here and I'm not sure about my emotions or my, or my mental state or whatever else is going on. But I am convinced, like Paul was convinced. I'm convinced that nothing is going to be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. And that love will find me in every place that I am. It will meet me there because it never lost me, right? It will meet me there and it will continue on with me no matter where it is that I need to go. So today I want you to be encouraged to pick up yourself, okay? Stand sober, stand tall and be convinced because it's either you believe it or not. We're praying for you. We're praying that you would heal, live, and grow. We're praying that you would continue as you develop your faith and that you would nurture this process that God is bringing you through. And when you are in the place that you need to really, really, really hold close to God more dearly, then then do that, okay? Hold close to Him because it's about believing it or not. Either you believe it or you don't. So if you're believing it, believe it and hold close to it. And let's keep this journey going. We're praying for you to be that in that position right now that you can trust that God is who he says he is and he'll do what he says he'll do. Now, as we move forward, I'm going to ask you to pray for us because even though we believe it and we're standing strong in our belief, your prayers help to fortify that love. It reminds us that we are loved not just by God, but by this body of people who are committed to doing what we're doing, continuing a message, continuing to encourage, continuing to uplift. So we need your prayers and we're going to always ask for that. But lastly, after you prayed and after you've been prayed for, I want you to continue to share the information, the knowledge that you're learning through devotional series, through your own practices, through your work and your Bible study. Remember that we uh, we need to encourage other people to take a stance just like Paul was encouraging the, in Romans, those people to take a chance. We need to be those encouragers. So we're going to ask you to pass through a word of paying it forward to believing it or not. All right. Until tomorrow, we'll see you. Please be blessed.